Steve Mignone here for Acid or Auctioneers and the great Texas Mopar Horde event sale. This is item number 149, a 1956 Dodge Lancer Royal. Uh, it's been restored and then stored outdoors here in Texas. Very dusty, but very solid. I love the two-tone black and plum paint. The bumper, the grill are all in really good condition. Yeah, a little damage to the plastic center here. These are available in reproduction, not a crisis. Let's look under the hood. This should have the, yeah, there it is, the 315 cubic inch uh, polyspherical Dodge V8 engine. There was also a Hemi Possible, but this is the Poly engine with a two-barrel carburetor. I think something like 220 horsepower here. Uh, and, you know, nicely done under the hood. Um, this has a manual drum brake setup all the way around. Steering on this one is manual steering. That's okay. Here's the heater, which was an option against the firewall. And nicely done. The plum paint extends to underneath the hood, which is correct presentation. Has the correct original style radiator. And uh, let's go around to the driver's side and take a peek inside and see what we have there. I love the two-tone paint, the delineation, the chrome on the body is in great shape, no problem there. And this is a hard top, no pillar, so when you roll the windows down, it's completely open. So when you take it out for a Sunday drive, it's nice to, uh, to breathe and cruise along. To the left of the steering wheel, you see the push-button pod. This has the two-speed, uh, probably the power flight automatic. No clutch pedal here. It's truly an automatic transmission. However, again, it's a two-speed, not a three-speed. Uh, there's the steering wheel, the AM radio. The gauges in these things look very sporty, almost aircraft-inspired, those circular gauges. That's standard equipment. The front seat has been reupholstered in a non-stock uh, pattern, but that's okay. And uh, it's a great-looking car. Now, the rear window is out, but I'm told by the estate the glass is present, does come with the car, along with the trim around it. Looks to me like maybe the car was uh, being serviced for a new headliner. The project wasn't finished, and as a result, we have it like this. But again, this is Texas. There's no water getting in this car, just dust, and you can clean that out. Okay, quarter panel fins. Virgil Exner really starting to strut his stuff here. Just the year before the forward look, 56 was the final year for this squared off car. They became quite different in 57, but this is the end of the line. The trunk emblem is looking good. The Lancer logo here is in great shape. And inside the trunk, yes, here is much of the missing trim right there, the window trim here. And other goodies, car cover, more window trim, the spinner. Lancer spinner hubcaps, which were a big deal with hot rodders back in the day. Kind of like a knockoff, but guys who were running hot Model T's, Model A's with VH would run these puppies on them. The rear bumper is looking very good. Uh, the optional bumper bullets are fine. The lenses, the chrome is nice. Down the uh, passenger side, the fuel filler door is present and accounted for. The Royal, the chrome is nice. Let's break out the magnet and see if it's really as nice as it seems under the skin. And yes, the magnet sticks. I don't find any plastic filler in this one. Nice, solid car. Gotta love Texas. The magnet sticks all the way around. Let's check it here. Yeah, okay, that's, that's nice. It's this minimal area there to stick to. Try it out in front here. Magnet sticks real nice here. That's great. Let's open up this door and have a peek inside. And again, here it is, the two-door hardtop body. Again, you roll down these windows. They are manual, there's no power windows, which is good. They're simple and easy. And uh, you roll them down, have a nice day cruising in your 56 Lancer Royal. Now the Royal was near the top of the line for the Dodge line in 1956. And uh, what a nice cruiser this would make in your driveway. This is item 149, 56 Dodge Lancer Royal. You need it.